Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. First of all, I'm going to apologise for my voice. Um, we've all been struck with the dreaded lurgy in this house and uh, all sound rather worse for wear. So um, it's not my husband doing the tutorial, it is me. Um, I just sound a little strange. Today, I'm going to show you how to make an eyeball. Well, it's coming up for Halloween, so I thought, you know, you've got to have a few eyeballs lying around. And uh, we're going to use a technique. It's a, a Japanese toy crocheting technique called Amigurumi. And I'm sure I've pronounced it wrong or, you know, put the inflection on the wrong word. But anyway, that is what we're going to be doing. And it is basically just using a hook that's it all you're going to be using is a hook well obviously and some bands now normally they would um, crochet with with you know crochet thread we're going to be using uh, loom bands instead the other thing that I'm going to be using is some little stitch holders now I'm really just using these so that I can show you where I'm at in my in my uh, in, in the ball that I'm making um, so that you can see what I'm doing. I don't actually use these per se but they're actually quite handy so I do have a few of them. The colours I'm using are black for the pupil, yellow for the iris and white for the actual eyeball and then I've also got some polyfill, some toy uh, stuffing to actually stuff the ball. Um, I had used uh, cotton wool for the red one and I it's it's um, more solid it's not as squishy as as the polyfill so I'm going to be using the polyfill so let's get started we're going to be starting with black and yellow and what we're going to do and I'm going to zoom in so that you can see my fingers as best as possible we're going to take a single black band and I'm using a 2.75 hook. I find this is actually quite the best size for me, which is unusual because when I'm looming, I use the four. So taking my 2.75 hook, I'm gonna take a single band and twist it once in a figure eight on my hook. All right, from here, I'm going to take a single black band and I'm going to slide that on and reclaim. Now. In crocheting, when they're crocheting, they make what's called a magic ring. It's very difficult to do that with loom bands. So this is our looming magic ring, I guess you could say. All right, so from here, what we're going to do, I'm using yellow as my pupil, uh, as my iris. I'm going to take a single yellow and I'm going to slide that onto the other black band, like so. So I have an end cap, basically, one black band, one yellow band. Then I'm going to go back through my end cap, okay, and with a black single band, I'm going to place it on the end of my hook, and I'm going to slide that through and reclaim. So I have four loops on my hook. I'm going to take a single yellow, and I'm going to slide those four loops on and reclaim. That's number two. We need to do this ten times. So back through your end cap, single black, pull it through and reclaim, and let's get our yellow. This is number three. Now you can count them because if you look here at the yellow, I'm trying to show you, <laughs> you have three loops, one, two, and three in yellow. Okay, so that's quite a good indication. Back through your end cap, grab your single black, this is going to be number four. So put that on. Here's our yellow. Drag it through and reclaim. Number five coming up. Number five is alive. How many of you remember that movie? I'm showing my age there, aren't I? There we go. So count them. One, two, three, four, and five. Back through, we're doing number six. Number seven. So this is our equivalent of what they call the magic ring. Number eight. 
and our magic ring needs 10. Single crochets, and this is what we're doing. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2 more. Here's number 9. And our last one, number 10. I'm trying to do this in bright colours that stand out as well so you can see the difference. So that is number 10. Now, if you count these, all right, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 is on my hook. Now, what we're going to do is put a hook here, all right. And we're going to take a yellow because we're still on the iris and we're going to pull so we've got our hook through th those two yellow here pull this back through all four of those loops and reclaim so they're sitting on like that okay now that's so what we've done here we've done this center bit here and we've done that first rim of brown we've done it in yellow now we're doing another bit okay so here's our first one now this was just tying this off we're going to take another yellow and now we're going to move into here and we say this is number one and you're just going under if you have a look at this you can see you've got two loops this side here and then two loops are under here where the black band catches them. You're going for these two loops up the top that nothing is catching on. And you're going in from your, your front to your back, okay? So front to back, like that. Now, we're going to take a yellow, and this is called a single crochet. On the patterns, they will call it an SC. So take one, pull it through under that and reclaim it okay so now those are in the same height as each other now as we're choosing white for our pupil I'm going to have some white bands here I'm going to take a white band and I'm going to slide those that through those four loops and reclaim okay now for this particular what we want to do uh, is our pattern is telling us we have 10 around here okay we need to increase it we need it to get bigger so what we're going to do is our color of choice is yellow and and then we're using the the white bands so we're going to do a single crochet and then we're going to do a single crochet with an increase okay and it alternates so single crochet single crochet in, increase single crochet single crochet increase that was our single crochet and we went through this one here, this first one. We're now going to go through the second one. So as you can see, the band is on that one there. So that means this one here is our next one, okay? So we're gonna take our hook from the front to the back. We're gonna go through that one. Now this wants an increase. To do an increase, it means you need to do two single crochets in that one band. Which is tricky when you don't have thread so what we're going to do take a single yellow pull it through and reclaim and grab a white and pull it through that was a single crochet now let's do the increase for the increase you're going to go through the same spot that we just did so you're putting two single crochets in that loop there okay so again take a yellow drag it through reclaim see there's the other one and we're in the same one grab a white and pull through so that has now increased we've added an extra one because we've got two of those in one loop all right now we need to do a single crochet in the next loop or well, the next loop is here beside so we're going to go in here now this is where I thought it might be handy using these little stitch things we're doing a single in this one in this one here we're doing the increase so let's put a little stitch marker there we're doing an increase on that one and then we're doing a single here 
and then on the next one we're doing an increase single on that one single on that one so an increase on this one single on that one so an increase on that one all right so I'm going to mark these so we don't forget and I'm only marking it on the back the back loop all right so we don't forget which one we're doing the increase on so here we're doing a single so grab your yellow band and you're pulling it through that loop by itself that loop has just one on it grab your white band look this could almost be a daisy or a sunflower couldn't it and pop on now we're moving to the next loop which is this one and it's got a pink marker on it so we know we have to do our increase so increase means we do two single crochets in the same loop let's take a single band and do our first one so here's one and loop it in and then back through that same loop to do our second one our increase and slide another one on we're doing a single in this one so poke your hook through single band and slide it through and we'll link that in with our white band and then here it's got a pink marker on it so we know we're doing an increase on this one so yellow band slide in reclaim loop in your white and then go back in that same hole grab another yellow slide in and again we're going to do another white so this one is a single single crochet and it'll be written down on the pattern as SC single crochet and pull through and the increment one will be written as single crochet increment INC so in here we're going to put our single crochet and loop it in and then we'll do our increment <laughs> in the same loop so it's got two loops on it there there's one there's the other and get our white band this one is going to be a single loop it in and this last one here is going to be an increase I say increment before I need more wine <laughs> so one and two and link it in with the white now when we're here we link our hook through those two yellow ones that is our first loop here so if we count we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen is on our hook so we're going to put that there like that take a white band because we're doing the eyeball now and slide that through and that sort of ties it up like that I mean, we haven't tied it off but there we go I'm going to put the black bands away we don't need those neither do we need the yellow all we're going to be working on now are white bands so let's move things out the way so we've got some space now where we're at we've done our color of choice and we've done our increments now we're going to go around we need to increase this to have 20 we've got 15 around there at the moment we need to increase it to 20 to do that we're going to do two single crochets followed by an in increase two single crochets followed by an increase so if you want we can count we can count it out and put our markers so one single crochet two single crochet this one is going to be an increase all right let's do let's count the, the next two so that's our increase here single single increase put our marker there 
single single increase single single increase single single increase all right so those ones with the marker are the ones that we are going to put two single crochets in all right so starting from here again we're going to take an extra white one slide it up in a little chain now we skip this yellow that is actually part of this part of the iris this is our first one here so we're going from front to back okay and we're doing two singles is our first single chain so draw your white one through and reclaim and then you're going to link it with a white one let's do the same for this one put your hook through grab the band pull it through and reclaim and link it with a white band like so this is where our marker is so we're going to put our hook through through both of them okay grab a single pull it through and reclaim draw your white band through like that and then put your hook back through that same one okay drag through reclaim and pop this through like so now this is quite important doing something like a ball is quite easy but it also teaches you how to do the stitching increase and obviously from the opposite side of things you're going to need we're going to be decreasing as well so you're going to need to how, learn how to do that and there are two really important things um, when you're doing this uh, amigurumi crocheting um, it's all very well to know how to do a single crochet but if you can't you know decrease it or increase it um, it's a bit tricky so here we're doing the increase so here's our first one through link it all together back through that same hole link it all together I'm doing single chains here single crochets I should say not single chains now Bear in mind, I am not somebody who has ever learned to crochet until, well, until I started faffing around with this a couple of weeks ago. So, um, I am, <laughs> my terminology is not good. I apologise to all of those people that are crocheted gurus. Um, I do apologise, but uh, this is layman's terms, I guess. <laughs> I'm back through the same one again. So we're increasing the width of our little eyeball here. One band at a time. Okay, we're at a pink marker, so we know we have to do an increase. I think the hardest thing for me was learning to read the patterns. Some of them were just completely gobbledygook to me. Ah, oh, now what am I doing? I think I've got to go through again, don't I? There was a marker in there. Yes. Back through again. There we go. That's a bit better. And now two single crochets. Our first one. Second one. And now we're at this marker here, which is requiring us to do two 
in the same spot. So it's our increase. So there's one. And back through the same hole. Here is two. Tie it in. And now, if you lift this up, you can see that's where we started. So we're going to go through like that. I'm not actually going through the chain, I'm going through the one under it with a white band. I'm just going to tie it off like that. Actually, no, I am going to go through the actual chain. Otherwise, we're going to increase. Let's go through and drag that back. Here we go. So now you can see that we've got the startings of a little, it looks like a little bowl, really, doesn't it? All right, now we have three rows. We're on uh, row number four. We've done four so far, four layers. We're going to do four, five, and six, and it's just going to be single crochets all the way around. There's going to be no increases. Um, literally, you're just going to be going through. Um, and let's count exactly where we're at here. Um, doo -doo, oop, that was handy, Kate. The nice thing about this is it is quite forgiving. So it's easy to find where your loops were. Actually, I was tying those off, wasn't I? Okay, so I was back at the beginning. I'm going through my first one, grabbing this and pulling back. There we go. So let's count how many we've got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So this one here is our first one. So we're going to go in through, first of all we're going to grab another white band to give ourselves room to move, there we go. Now we're going to go in through here, okay, I feel like I'm going backwards, I'm going to turn my hook around, that's better, <laughs> in through here and we're just doing single crochets, so through like that and reclaim. Alright, and then the next one, so we went through that one, this is our next one here, number two here, single band, reclaim, single band, pull through. Now I'm not going to talk all the way through, but I'm going to just do it real time with you, but you'll see what I'm doing, and if you need to, please pause me, go back, rewind. I promise it won't hurt my feelings in any way, shape or form. And another good thing to do, especially when you're dealing with just one colour, is where you have the start, here is our start, is use one of the stitch markers here to show you where your start is, so that you don't zoom right past it into the next column, uh, next row. Okay, so that's that's quite handy. Now we, we finished here, so let's go here. Hey, come here, flicking things all over the place.
actually found I was able to watch TV while doing this, which astounded me. Normally when I'm looming, I I can't, you know, if it's just, if I'm looming for fun, I don't really watch TV or anything like that because it's too distracting and I get lost with what I'm doing. But with this, I was just happily making my snake. <laughs> make sure you're getting the next stitch not the next loop now we're nearly at the end here you can see here I'm going to do one here Here we're going to take our stitch marker off and go through the loop and join them together. So that was our first row of just single crochet all the way around. We've got two more of that to do. Okay, so again, start with a single band so that it's the same height when you move forward. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I've gained a stitch. So what I'm going to do, I think, is because I, I didn't come up to here, I went here. So I'm going to ignore this one and I'm just going to go to here. I had a feeling I'd done that. I'm going to put my marker there so we know where the end is. Alright, so we've gone through that one, so next we're here. It's very easy to do, is to gain a stitch here or there, or so I found with the bands anyway. Or if you're busy talking or watching TV. <laughs> At least you know I'm not watching TV. You can vouch for me. Now you see we're going for this stitch here because this one's already taken so that's how you tell so that one's taken so you're going to this one see all the professional crocheters are turning in their graves at me butchering this. <laughs> I'm sorry. So 
that one's taken, so we're down here. And here is our marker. Now we need to come in here. Yeah. And I'm probably I've probably gained a stitch again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I have, I gained another stitch, twenty-one. I'm not going to worry too much about it. It's only one, and uh, I don't think it. I don't think it's really going to matter. So, so now we uh, have one more to go around. So, and I think it's this that's gaining me the stitch. Again, I'm going to skip this one here and go straight to here. Slide in. And I'm going to put my marker here. So we know we're there. And then after this row, I get to teach you how to decrease. I didn't know how to do that. It's uh, been an interesting little learning curve for me. I found making hats very easy, but I was like, how do I get things to get smaller? without looking really lumpy and keeping the pattern that I sort of have made. And then I have one other one that it, oh, it didn't even look like a pattern at all. I'm like, oh my gosh, this looks like I've just thrown a bunch of knots together. But now, you can see how I've skipped a, I missed this band. See that big hole there? We don't want that. So go back. So we're in here. So that's a good way of being able to tell. I mean, it's not as big if you've uh, missed a stitch or not. Not quite as easy as the visual marker of having a teardrop, is it? But never mind. It's a little bit different from looming. But it's fun to see the things you can make. I like, I like seeing the stuffed toys and stuff like that. I have to see if I can do any of those. I'm not, I made the snake, but um, I want to see if I can make some fun things for Halloween and uh, some teddy bears and all that sort of stuff. As you can see, it's using a fair few bands. I haven't counted. We'll have to uh, have to take something apart and count, won't we? That's good on there. And that's too close. There we go. Talking to myself again. Oops. 
all the way through. Once we get here, we will start with our decrease. Now that goes there. So again, take your band, join them all up so that they're like this. And the funny thing with these is they can look different when you turn them inside out. So one way is one one look and the other way can be a completely different look so it's worth turning them inside out to see uh, to see which side you like best now we're going to start decreasing what we're going to do for decreasing is do two single crochets and then the decrease all right so let's count how many we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen oh my goodness gracious we've got twenty so i'm going to take <laughs> i'm going to take my band and throw it everywhere let's try that again in there Thankfully, it was just the band that I was linking them. Take a band. So you've got room to work with. So we're going to go in here and do a single crochet. And tie it in. The next one. Single crochet. Tie it. In. Now note you've got two loops here on your hook. Now to do the decrease you're going to go through the next one, grab your single band and pull it through like you would do normally. Okay, like that. But instead of tying those two off you're going to go through the next one as well. Okay, and get another single band and pull that through and reclaim. So you've got six loops on your hook and then you're going to take a single band and go through all of those. And now we have two single crochets, so here's our first one. Link it in. Here's our second one. And they'll call this um, on the on the pattern something like SC space DEC. So single crochet decrease. Okay, so here we go for the decrease again. You're going to go through your first one grab your band and put it on your hook and then find your next one and grab a band put it on your hook so you've got six loops on there single band slide it all through and reclaim and now single chain or single crochet <laughs> one Here's our second. Now we're going to do a decrease again. So let's find our first place to do our first one. So there's one, and here's number two. Take a single band and slide through all six of those loops. Now you can see. I have, oh there's my end here, I didn't put my, my uh, mark on it, there we go, so now we've got sin two single crochets, so here's our first one, single crochet, and the reason they spread it out is so it, it doesn't look sort of, so it's not all bunched up in one spot, it's evenly spaced, I guess, what would I know, I'm a geek, <laughs> Now we do our decrease. So here's one. Here's our second spot here. Like 
that and slide through and that should decrease see how this little hole is getting smaller and smaller ok we've got two single crochets we've got one and two and now we have a decrease so here's one and here's our last one here two and slide on reclaim and we're at our marker get a single band to hold those all together ok see how it's getting smaller now now we're on the last couple. What we're going to do now is single crochet, decrease, single crochet, decrease, alternate. Okay, so let's put our extra one on to give us some room and we'll go single crochet. And now we're going to decrease. So there's one, two, single band, pull them all together. Now we've got to do single crochet. Oops. Now we do the decrease. So there's one and two. Drag it all through. Single crochet. And a decrease. through that's where I started by the way let me put I'll put a little marker on so we don't forget there we go single crochet and now we do our decrease and our decrease and a single crochet in together and I'm going to put my little marker my holder together here on those just to hold it for a second and we're going to get some filler and we're going to fill this little eyeball okay so I have some filler beside me and I'm, as I said I'm using the polyfill which I just got from Michaels and it's this sort of fluffy goopy stuff and we're just going to stuff it in very soft very uh, very conformable I'm going to throw it on the floor at the same time <laughs> so the cat can play in it God, I wonder how much damage that would do him I don't even want to bear thinking about where 
Here's my little marker. Come back here, you. You're not escaping just yet. Okay, so it's beginning to look like an eye. I think, I think I might like to put, oh, no, I think we're about good. All right, so I'm going to put this back on my hook. And all I'm going to do now is you just decrease all the way through. So I'm not going to put another one on here. I'm just going to go here and put a band and the next one put a band and slide a single through and then do the same I'm just going to keep doing this until it's basically until it's at a stage where I can close it See how we're going. I think I'm just going to put one hook through here, grab a single band, pull through if I can, slip knot, nice and tight. Now I'm going to make sure I hide my tie off band. I'm going to go in through here, just anywhere really. Grab the end, keep it taut, and pull it back inside the ball, and then escape. And there, once you've squidged it into shape, is, let me pull this back out so you can see, a little eyeball. How about that? Got a couple now. Hope you have fun making them. Imagine you can put them all together, sew them together, whatever. It's a start. You know how to decrease, you know how to increase, you know how to single crochet. World's your oyster. Have fun. Take care.